hello everyone welcome to the mathematics in my channel in this video we are going to solve this interesting integral integral from 0 to 1 x times natural log of gamma of x dx well how to begin well uh, in a previous video uh, we already discussed about the kuma series uh, the fourier series expansion of uh, natural log of gamma function so we know natural log of gamma of x is equal to natural log of 2 pi over 2 plus uh, infinite sum k is equal 1 to infinity 1 over 2 times k cosine of 2 pi k x then again uh, plus infinite sum k is equal 1 to infinity gamma gamma we know Euler's mass coronic constant plus natural log of 2 pi k over pi k times sine of 2 pi k x now uh, our integral uh, we can take uh, our integral is equal to i and here we have natural log of gamma of x and here we have also natural log of gamma of x so we can write i is equal to i is equal to uh, here uh, natural log of 2 pi over 2 uh, times x uh, so we know natural log of 2 pi over 2 is a constant and integral from 0 to 1 uh, here x so we have x uh, dx then uh, plus infinite sum k is equal 1 to infinity 1 over 2 times k integral from 0 to 1 now here cosine of 2 pi k x here we have x so uh, we have x times cosine of 2 pi k x uh, dx then um, this part so we have plus k is equal 1 to infinity now we know uh, this part is a constant so uh, gamma plus natural log of uh, 2 pi k over uh, pi k integral from 0 to 1 x times uh, sine of 2 pi k x dx then uh, if we integrate uh, x we know x square over 2 uh, from 0 to 1 and uh, if we apply limit uh, 0 to 1 we know we have 1 half and uh, here we have uh, an integral so we can take i1 and this integral uh, i2 so uh, let's solve i1 and i2 so uh, i1 uh, we know i1 is equal to integral from 0 to 1 x times cosine of uh, 2 pi kx dx uh, to solve uh, this integral i am going to take and substitution 2 pi uh, kx is equal to u then if we differentiate uh, 2 pi k dx is equal to du then uh, we can plug in now uh, we should change the boundaries uh, lower boundary we know when x approaches to 0 u also approaches to 0 x approaches to 1 u approaches to 2 pi k and here x uh, x we can isolate uh, u over 2 pi k u over 2 pi k here uh, cosine of uh, u times dx we know du over 2 pi k okay then uh, we know here 2 pi k here 2 pi k so 1 over 2 pi k perfect score is a constant so we can write outside of the integral sign and here we have 0 to 2 pi k uh, u times cosine of u so we can change the variable x times cosine of x dx now we can integrate x times cosine of x by using integration by parts method so we have here 1 over 2 pi k perfect score and here we know x times uh, integration of cosine of x uh, sine of x limit from 0 to 2 pi k 
then minus integral from 0 to 1 derivative of x we know 1 and here uh, sine of x dx okay then uh, if we apply limit we know this part will be 0 also uh, if we integrate uh, sine of x uh, from 0 to 1 uh, so we know this uh, whole part will be 0 so i1 we know is equal to 0 then uh, let's evaluate the uh, i2 i2 here we have x sine uh, 2 phi k x so i2 is equal to integral from 0 to 1 x times sine of 2 pi k x dx then uh, we can take uh, same substitution this substitution x we know u over 2 pi k so here limit also we know 0 to 2 pi k u over 2 pi k uh, sine of u times du over 2 pi k okay then uh, let's uh, simplify 1 over uh, 2 pi k perfect score integral from 0 to 2 pi k x times uh, sine of x dx here we have u uh, but uh, i change the variable uh, so x times sine of x dx then again we can apply uh, ibp method integration by parts so here uh, minus x times cosine of x from 0 to 2 pi k plus 0 to 2 pi k cosine of x dx okay then uh, here 1 over 2 pi k perfect square times here we know uh, we have minus uh, 2 pi k so if we simplify 2 pi k get cancelled so minus 1 over 2 pi k so we know this is i2 well uh, now our integral we know uh, i uh, here we have i so i is equal to natural log of 2 pi over 2 times 1 half so we have natural log of 2 pi over uh, 2 times 1 half uh, natural log of uh, 2 pi over 4 then uh, we know uh, here i1 we know i1 uh, 0 then uh, i2 we know uh, minus 1 over 2 pi k uh, including this part so we can write uh, here uh, plus infinite sum k is equal 1 to infinity gamma plus natural log of 2 pi k over pi k times minus 1 over 2 pi k then uh, we can simplify here natural log of uh, 2 pi over 4 then uh, we can multiply this so we have minus gamma over here pi here pi so 2 times uh, pi square uh, infinite sum k is equal 1 to infinity here k here k so 1 over uh, k square then uh, we can multiply this part so here minus 1 over 2 phi square infinite sum k is equal 1 to infinity natural log of 2 pi k over k square okay then uh, here natural log of uh, 2 phi over 4 minus gamma over 2 times phi square and here uh, we know this part is equal to uh, Riemann zeta function zeta of 2 so here zeta of 2 minus 1 over 2 phi square uh, infinite sum k is equal 1 to infinity then according to property of natural log here we can write uh, natural log of 2 times pi plus natural log of k over k square okay let us uh, simplify uh, here natural log of uh, 2 pi over 4 minus gamma over 2 times phi square theta of 2 we know phi square over 6 here minus 1 over uh, 2 phi square and here uh, we can split this sum into two different sums here natural log of 2 phi uh, constant so here we can write 
natural log of uh, 2 times pi over uh, 2 times pi square sum of k is equal 1 to infinity here we have 1 over k square uh, then minus 1 over 2 pi square infinite sum k is equal 1 to infinity natural log of k over k square okay uh, here natural log of 2 pi over 4 then we know 5 square get cancelled minus gamma over 12 uh, minus natural log of 2 pi over 2 times 5 square and here again we know zeta of 2 so 5 square over 6 uh, then here minus 1 over 2 pi square and here we have uh, well known sum because uh, in the previous video we discussed about this sum okay let's take the Riemann zeta function zeta of s is equal to uh, k is equal 1 to infinity 1 over k to the s then if we differentiate with respect to s zeta dash of s is equal to uh, here k is equal 1 to infinity minus uh, natural log of k over k to the s then if we plug into zeta dash of 2 is equal to minus sum of k is equal 1 to infinity natural log of k over k square here we have uh, this sum so we know this is equal to minus zeta dash of 2 so here minus so we know plus 1 over 2 phi square zeta dash of 2 okay uh, let us simplify here natural log of 2 phi over 4 minus gamma over 12 uh, then here minus you know phi square get cancelled natural log of uh, 2 phi over 12 uh, plus 1 over 2 times phi square then uh, zeta dash of 2 uh, we have uh, another um, interesting formula for zeta dash of 2 we know uh, zeta dash of uh, 2 is equal to zeta of 2 times minus 12 times natural log of here capital a capital a we know dash of inkling constant uh, plus natural log of 2 times pi plus gamma gamma we know euler mascheroni constant so uh, instead of zeta dash of 2 we can plug in zeta of 2 times minus 12 times natural log of a plus natural log of 2 times pi plus gamma okay let us simplify here natural log of 2 phi over 4 here minus gamma over 12 uh, okay minus gamma over 12 minus natural log of 2 phi over 12 here zeta dash of 2 sorry zeta of 2 we know phi square over 6 phi square get cancelled so we have plus 1 over 12 minus 12 times natural log of a plus natural log of 2 times pi plus gamma now here natural log of 2 pi over 4 uh, here minus gamma over 12 here uh, plus gamma over 12 we know get cancelled uh, then here minus natural log of 2 phi over 12 here plus natural log of 2 phi over 12 so we have uh, this 12 get cancelled minus natural log of a then uh, i am going to take 1 over 4 as a common factor so here we have natural log of 2 pi minus 4 times natural log of a uh, then 1 over 4 times natural log of 2 times pi minus natural log of a to the fourth power then according to property of natural log we can write natural log of 2 times pi over a to the fourth power okay this is the answer for this integral if you like this type of videos, please subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching.